Today in Draw My Life, the last episode of Recess. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Just another video about a lost episode of a cartoon series? But wait, this one is different. It's the story of Alicia, a girl who wrote to us a few days ago telling us about her experience with the show. It's not the typical story of an episode falling out of the sky unexpectedly and reaching the internet. No, let's go with the story. But first, subscribe. Alicia has started studying journalism. She's 18 years old and told us that she'd grown up watching Recess. The thing is that she'd seen the episode so many times that she knew all the dialogues. She also explained that her best remedy for a bad day was to watch an episode of the show, even now. A few months ago, she got an internship where she had to write an article about a show that had stuck with her. She didn't hesitate and started writing about TJ and his friends. And like a good journalist, she started looking for information about the show, but no article said anything that she didn't already know, until she came across one that talked about the existence of an extremely grotesque home video that a fan had made. It was called Recess Lie. Given the description of the video, Alicia wanted to see it, but there wasn't any trace of it. She only found two news articles explaining what had happened. It seems that the user had posted the video on a forum page under the name Black Soul underscore seven. But as soon as the video reached Disney, it took less than a minute. It was censored. Many comments indicated that it was so shady that no one copied it. But knowing the internet, Alicia doubted it. Our journalist, disturbed by all this mystery, decided to go in pursuit of Black Soul underscore seven. It took her a while to find the person behind, as this name didn't appear on any social media. She finally managed to name the anonymous user. It was a girl named Lorena Rios, who was a patient in a psychiatric center for minors, which happened to be in the same city as Alicia. So she phoned to make an appointment. After several excuses, she managed to convince them to let her see Lorena. The next day, Alicia arrived at the psychiatric center. If you're picturing a typical dark cell and depressing asylum, you're way off track. It was a facility that was located in a small park. Alicia went inside and was taken to a lounge. She entered quietly knowing that she really shouldn't be there. The room was full of tables, all empty except for the middle one, where a timid girl sat. Alicia walked over to her. Lorena's appearance surprised her. She wasn't at all as she'd imagined. She had the typical angelical face illuminated with a beautiful smile. But, indeed, she had a strange look as if she was looking without seeing. She and Alicia began to talk. Lorena had no problem answering all her questions. She told her about the controversial video while Alicia took note of everything. Lorena told her that it all started when she was 13 years old. She was bullied at school. It was horrible. So when she got home, she locked herself in her room and watched an episode of Recess. It became her refuge. Until one day, she came home from school with a black eye after getting into a fight with one of the bullies. With tears in her eyes, she started watching an episode wishing Spinelli would give her the strength she needed. However, neither she, nor TJ, nor Vince, nor Gus could fix the pain she felt inside. Suddenly, the sorrow she felt for herself turned into an immense hatred against her childhood show and its characters. She felt that everything that was said in that show was a pure lie. Friends are not real. They're a creation of people looking to have influential relationships. And that the bad guys are not like the Ashleys. They're much worse. It's hard to survive in a world like that. And this series does nothing but transform reality. Angrily, she wiped away her tears. She'd come up with a plan to expose the show. The next morning, she told her parents that she was feeling sick and wouldn't make it to school that day. When she was left alone, she got down to work. She started making puppets out of the characters from the show in the most grotesque way. TJ looked more like a version of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Spinelli resembled an ex-convict. Mickey's head was gigantic, but his eyes and mouth looked tiny. Gretchen had all her teeth pulled out of her mouth and deformed. Vince had become a bodybuilder, and Gus looked like he had gone mad. Seeing them all made, she smiled to herself. At last, 
people would realize the reality. She placed the puppets on a table. Behind them, she set a light blue cardboard. Then she took her cell phone, placed it in front of the made-up stage, and hit record. Here, Lorena paused. She looked at Alicia in the eye and told her that she couldn't go on with the story. But if she wanted, she could give her the link where it was uploaded. It was on the deep web. Alicia gulped. She knew she was getting into a very shady place, but at the same time, she needed to know what happened in the video. She finally agreed, and Lorena wrote the link in the journalist's notebook. Alicia was surprised that she knew it by heart. When Alicia got home, she ran to the computer and typed in what Lorena had written. It took the computer a long time to load the page, and once it did, the screen turned black. She waited several minutes and nothing. She decided to hit refresh, and suddenly, boom, the terrible video thumbnail appeared before her eyes. The background was dark and contrasted with the character's face, which, although disfigured, were perfectly recognizable. Alicia took a deep breath and hit play. The video began with Lorena standing behind the puppet stage. Her eyes were hollow, with dark eye bags and very red chat lips. The characters from the show were on stage, as Lorena had described them to her. Completely deformed, they were very, very repulsive. Lorena grabbed TJ with one hand and Vince with the other, and began to voice them. The dialogue was absurd. They talk about how their friendship was over because their interests no longer existed since they had killed all the Ashleys. At that moment, Lorena left the puppets and picked up a knife she had next to her. And looking at the camera, she caught the palm of her hand, dropping drops of blood on TJ and Vince. Then she bandaged her hand with a piece of cloth. Next, she took Gretchen and Gus and did the same as before. She gave them the most bizarre dialogue. In a squeaky voice, Gretchen was berating Gus for not loving her. She said she was the smartest person in the world and deserved his love. She warned him that if he didn't love her, she would pull out her teeth one by one. Lorena gave Gus the word, Die, Gretchen! Immediately, Lorena dropped Gus and grabbed Gretchen with both hands as she began pulling out her teeth. Each time she did so, Lorena let out an anguished cry of pain. She then took the knife again and cut her other palm, dripping her blood all over Gus. It was Spinelli's turn as she started to yell and insult Mickey, but he didn't respond. After a few moments of silence, Lorena grabbed Mickey and started shaking him and emulating the sound of crying. It wasn't high pitch, but monotone cry, which made it even more creepy. She then increased the intensity of the crying and began to shake Mickey harder and harder until he began to break. Finally, she stopped, placed the remains of the puppet on the ground, and looked at the camera. With a smile, she said, Parents, this is what happens at school recess. Be careful. Then she picked up the knife once more and slowly slit her cheek. Then she caressed the wounds with her hand, smearing it all over. At the sight of blood, she turned pale, and in a matter of seconds, she fainted. The video didn't stop recording. When her parents arrived, they called the ambulance, but didn't realize that the cell phone was recording. After a few seconds of recording the empty room with Lorena's wreckage, there was a fade to black. About a minute passes, and Lorena's face reappears with the scar across her cheek. She says she hopes you enjoy the video as much as she did. Then she says goodbye, and again, the screen goes black. One, two, three, and... <laughs> Sorry for the scare, we couldn't end this video in any other way. Did you know that the real show was made up to combat bullying? So you know, live and let live. Let us know in the comments what other show you'd like us to creep out. And subscribe if you're into horror. See you next time.